the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It's good to be back. Um, we're going to get into the Stephen Fulton win, the majority decision, the win over um, Brandon Figueroa on Saturday night in Las Vegas. A great fight. Um, but before we do that, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It's all on all forms, social media. Please follow us. Please like, share, and subscribe to the show. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. I'm going to have some exciting uh, content uploaded there. More content in that uh, website and uh, the YouTube page in um, the next couple of days. Uh, but please share, like, and subscribe. Please find us on all forms of social media. Uh, text box and seeing all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, help us out there. Help us get that monetized and up and running. Um, all right, let's get into the fight. Brandon Figueroa. Um, most people thought Figueroa won. Um Stephen Fulton appeared to be one of those people at the end of the fight. It did seem a little bit surprised that he got the decision. I don't think the decision was atrocious. I do think Brandon won. I thought they were close rounds that you could have flipped. I, I, I don't think that, although I disagree with it, strongly disagree. I don't find it outrageous. I don't think it was a robbery. I don't like what Brandon did after the fight where he went in and uh, bum-rushed the interview and said, you know, you didn't want to fight. Do you really think he won the fight or whatever he said? Um Look, it was a close fight. I thought Figueroa won. The majority of the people watching the fight thought Figueroa won. It wasn't the robbery of the year. Michael Fox had one of the worst robberies I've ever seen. Uh, but, uh, again, most people aren't happy with that decision. Fulton didn't seem convinced that he won either. He kept saying it was a close fight, which usually tells me you think you lost. Um, but, uh, so... Fulton, what I do like what Fulton did was Fulton offered a rematch on the spot, and he doubled down on that on social media. Uh, he wants to give Figueroa a rematch. It was a great fight. Let's do it again. Uh, and I give Fulton full credit for that. He does have the belts. They are technically his. They are, in reality, his belts. He did win them, although most people felt that he lost. They should be Figueroa. But he did the right thing. He made up an offer a rematch. Figueroa kind of him and hold out and said he might move up to 26. Um, I don't know. Figueroa told me. Over two years ago, when he fought in the Valley back in uh, August, I think it was August of 2019, that he had a lot of trouble making 26 down. You can see he's huge for the weight. I don't know what fig uh, 22 I'm talking about. He had to go to 26, and this is two years ago. Two years ago plus, he told me that. He's made the weight a few more times. Maybe he just can't make it anymore. I don't know. Uh, but Figueroa, one of the rebounds, he just didn't want to make it 22 anymore. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. Um let me know what you guys leave your thoughts and comments on that. Uh, but what I wanted to get into for today's show is uh, Stephen Fulton really, really in his feelings on social media. He's had many, many, many posts now. Uh, he follows him on Twitter. His name is uh, 100 Billions at Cool Boy Steph. Um, so he posted a picture saying, uh, Landon. Uh, okay, we'll start with, we'll start with I, I post them on this, but there are just way too many. There are way too many Stephen Fulton tweets. Like, uh, he knows that he lost. Uh, I'll read them to you. Okay. First one, rewatching the fight, y'all tripping. If y'all thought I lost, go rewatch the fight on Showtime. Okay. Watch it. And that, and, uh, less than an hour later, he tweets, landed more clean shots and y'all tripping and Brandon tripping. And like I said, we can run the, the, uh, uh, that back for a part two. Hashtag unified. Um, then he tweeted a picture of, of a shot that he landed on Figueroa and he put clean. And then he put um, about an hour, put two fight of the year candidates, one world titles, uh, one world title first, unified second in less than a year. It was a great year for Fulton. Uh, the Angelo Leo uh, fight was spectacular. Um, <clears throat> but you can see he's really in this field. Like, it, it seems to me, guys, he's trying to convince himself that he's won this fight because he's really in his feelings. Um, because no one really thinks he won. I like Cool Boy stuff. I've had the pleasure of interviewing him before. He's a good dude. I like him. Um, uh, it seems to me he thinks he lost the fight. That, that's what my impression is from these tweets. When you have to justify your win that bad because no one thinks you won. And then, you you, you know, you keep telling everyone you won. I, I think it's trying to convince yourself. Uh, he didn't seem like he won the fight after the fight. He seemed a little bit surprised when he got the decision. Um, and now it's on social media. 
I, I read the truth one after another, trying to justify this win, trying to, to talk to the skeptics. The skeptics, I, I, again, I was not outraged by the decision. Look, he landed clean shots from the outside. All of Figueroa's work, effective work, was from the inside in that kind of beautiful, ugly style that Figueroa has, which is swarming, and he's so long, he just has his head in his chest, and he can hit you from anywhere, right? It was all done on the inside. Um, you can kind of cover up your work where the judges don't really appreciate it, right? And this has happened to Sean Porter, I feel, in the past. Whereas Fulton's work, a lot of his good work was, although he did a ton of good work on the inside too, a lot of his, his he, he did the better work outside. He did the better work on the outside. Clean shots from the outside what the judges can see clearly. We'll get into another show where we need younger judges because it's ridiculous how an 80-year-old judge who can't, you know, who can't see because they're old, right? But when you land from the outside, it's clean. It's obvious. The work on the inside can get muffled. And Figueroa's work was done on the inside. Fulton did great work on the inside, but he did the better work on the outside, and that's visible. I thought Figueroa should have jabbed, boy. Jab your way in. Put a little bit too much to his brother where all he wanted to do was scrap on the outside. But you got to jab on the inside. Figueroa, Brandon was so much more multifaceted than his brother. Although they had the same style, Figueroa did more intricacies. He moved his head a little bit better, right? Um, he moved his head a little better, and he would jab his way in as Omar, who I love, God bless him, would just bum rush you, right? And that's what Brandon was doing, especially in the second half of that fight. And he could lose those rounds because Fulton is landing on the outside. Now, Figueroa landed the better shots. He had Fulton hurt several times in that fight, right? Um, but that, that's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. Um Fulton seems like he doesn't think he won the fight. Um, it seems like he could have done better, like he could have done more. He fought the wrong fight. Again, you're not going to be able to keep Brandon Figueroa off you for 12 rounds. You're not going to be able to keep him off you for 36 minutes. So he's eventually going to get inside on you at times. But you can muffle that up. You can you can you know kind of grab him, kind of fight your way out of that and get back to the outside. Fulton seemed content, and he did a good job. But you're fighting what I think is perhaps the best roughhouse in, inside fighter like that in the sport, and you fought him in that fight. He did it to Leo, but Leo can't punch. Figueroa can punch. So this was a little bit different. Um, I, I, I do think both guys could fight better, so I, I would love to see a rematch. The only question is, can Brandon keep making this fight? I think I've been saying for years now, I think Brandon's future is at 126. I think he's fighting in the wrong division. Um, but you know, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. You think Fulton's in his feelings? You think Fulton's trying to convince himself he won like I did? Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe, share 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery to help us get that monetized. Uh, it is a November 29th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still out in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.